everyone, it's Heather Klug, the registered dietitian from the Karen Yance Women's Cardiac Awareness Center. As part of the Summer Produce Series, I'm going to show you how to make one of my all-time favorite recipes in the world. This is called Mediterranean Quinoa Dish. I make this recipe a lot and I make it all year round too, not just during the summer but it's a great way to use up a lot of produce that you have on hand. So let me show you how to make this. So the first step is you're gonna make your quinoa. I've already made this, because you're gonna wanna let it sit and kinda chill for a little while. So really you can buy quinoa in a bag or in the bulk bins. My biggest tip here with quinoa is to make sure um, you follow the package directions. In many cases, you're gonna be rinsing the quinoa. There is a bitter substance on the outside of the quinoa called saponins, and if you don't rinse that off, you may taste a little bit of that. It's nothing that's going to be harmful to you. It just might give you a little bit of an off flavor. So make sure you rinse it before you cook it, okay? But you cook it just like rice, and it cooks pretty quickly. What we're going to do then is we're going to add a little protein to our quinoa, even though quinoa has some protein too. And this recipe, you're going to want to use chickpeas or garbanzo beans. And then we're going to add the veggies. So in this recipe, we have cucumbers. So we'll cut those up. And then we're going to also add some bell peppers. And you can add whatever color ones you want. I just wanted a little bit different color than the other vegetables. So I used a yellow and an orange bell pepper. Okay, and then we're going to add some tomatoes in here as well. Look at all the pretty colors we're getting already. I'm just going to move these dishes over a little bit. And then we're going to add some red onion in here as well. If you don't have red onion at home, you can certainly use, you know, white onion or yellow onion too. Both, any of those work just fine. And then we're going to add in um, some herbs. So I have some basil and I have parsley in here. Whenever possible, try to use fresh. Um, on occasion, if I haven't had good ones in the store to buy, I have used the dried versions. You're going to use less of it, certainly. Um, usually about a third compared to the fresh. It's just going to give you a little bit more punch of flavor if you use the fresh, okay? And then the last step here is we're going to make a really easy olive oil, kind of lemon juice, balsamic vinegar, um, like a vinaigrette, okay? So we're going to start with a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. I squeezed a fresh lemon. Again, you're going to want to use fresh lemon juice. It's going to be much more flavorful. So we're going to add that into my little glass jar. Let's bring that up here so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of balsamic vinegar. If you really love balsamic vinegar, you can certainly add more. So we're going to add roughly like a tablespoon, although you can add more if you'd like as well. And then you're going to want to add some garlic. So here I pressed some fresh garlic in my garlic press. Again, I know you can buy the bottled sort of garlic, and that's okay in a pinch if you really don't have any fresh, but always try to use fresh. You could also use garlic powder if you wanted to too, but fresh is always better. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of salt to this. We don't need a lot, maybe just a pinch or two. And then we're gonna add a little bit of pepper, Get some fresh pepper in there, and then we're just gonna whisk this together. All right, and then we're going to add this to the quinoa mixture. Try to get as much of that garlic out of there as I can. Now in this recipe, and again, you can always find our recipes down below in the show notes, um, you're going to find um, that there's um, two other ingredients in here that I have not added, and that is Kalamata olives and feta cheese, or you could use like crumbled uh, goat cheese as well too. Gives it even more of a Mediterranean flair, but I'll be very honest, I eat this without those two items all the time. But certainly they'll just add a little more punch of flavor as well. So let me just get this all mixed in here. And you guys are going to love this recipe so much, you're going to want to double it. If you're going to spend time chopping all those veggies, you might as well just make, chop up a bunch of them. I like to make this um, to take for lunch. So I'll eat it for dinner one night, and then I'll have it for lunch a couple days. And then if you really happen to have any left over, 
I don't think you will, but if you do, then you can always freeze it. It does freeze really nicely. And again, if you want to, you can always add your own other kind of veggies to this, okay? If you got fresh green beans or carrots, green peppers, whatever you wanna add is fine. So let's take a look at this. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Oops, it dropped a little bit down here. Isn't that really pretty? It's a really pretty dish too to also take to like parties and gatherings. So I really hope you guys make this at home um, and I really hope you, you enjoy this. Again, check out the recipe down below in the show notes and then don't forget to hit that subscribe button so uh, you don't miss any of our future episodes and heart healthy content. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.